the day. Rank 41 versus 7. Somewhat of a mismatch, but Copenhagen Flames certainly didn't make it look that way on the first. Let's see if we can get the Inferno Copenhagen Flames or if we get the Dust 2 phase. Time to jump in. And we are off. It will be Copenhagen Flames winning the knife. You can see them starting on the CT side here. The third and final map phase have won everything so far on the road to Rio. This would be a nightmare. They gave it up to Copenhagen Flames, but we'll see what they can do as the smokes are deployed. The Molotovs are down. They're fully committed towards outside. This won't be a slow round by any stretch of the imagination as Rain cracks things open. That's a first kill going under phases remit. Nico looks destined to get his second, but he can't quite connect the shots just yet. Yeah, now he heard can. the reload. Perfect time for him to punish, and that's a flawless T-side pistol for FaZe Clan. Straight out of the gates, it looks a lot like Dust 2. Certainly does. And Copenhagen Flames, I don't like the force buys on train. I think Chad's maybe in a similar mindset. It's similar to like Nuke. And uh, right, we'll see if they can make it work. But you're normally getting three scouts out here with some beagles. If you hit some great shots, sure, it's going to work out for you. But it's one of those rounds where I never have much hope. There are the three scouts. Yeah. See. Personally, I used to struggle a lot against these type of rounds as an in-game leader because I was very quick in my calls. But if you're slow and methodical and you identify scouts are on the board, you do have enough smoke grenades to make this one work, and we can see them teaming out already. Over towards the bomb train, the flash is good. Quinix drops back. Farlig finds the opening, though. And yeah. more tags. Look at this. This is why they can be quite deadly. That's a tough fight for Queenix if he misses that shot, as he did. He will just go down, and unfortunately, yeah, for the Danes, this one has dissolved and even a second. Molotov, a great shot from Nodius, but not enough in the end. So, FaZe Clan 2, three left standing, both AKs preserved. They can't really... Go too much better than that. Just, of course, those early casualties does put Cold Zero on. I assume, uh, actually, he's been dropped an AK. How kind of Brokey. So if they're on the CT side, this would be a bit problematic if you were three players, but knowing they're on the T forces here, they're full eco coming up next. It's a chance for you to grab another 3250 in terms of money. And uh, should be a relatively clean round here. See, Rain, he's so confident he's only using a PT50 here, which is absolutely fine. Not a big deal at all. So... Bit of an outside stack here. No one towards inner at all. They haven't got a flash, but they're looking for a bit of attention here. Rain, where everyone pushing towards the main entrance. He needs just the one. That would do. He'll probably go down a couple of frags. And as I said, he doesn't give away a weapon. Yeah, so I wonder fine. if that's because the reason he went for the P250 was part and parcel of not only the situation, but the fact that he was playing main. Yeah. He definitely. knew that that could have got overrun, and now no weapon is available for them. Olaf, excuse me, Cold Zera's found another one. And you got yourself a bomb plant ticking away. FaZe will find that very quick. 3-0. I do hope they hold on to these MAC-10s, FaZe, going into the next round so they can do something a little bit quick. We know that the buy is going to be compromised on the Copenhagen Flame side of things, and you've heard us say a million times at this point, if they don't upgrade to head armor, they're very susceptible to those MAC-10s. They can have their heads split like a melon. It's not just the AK-47s at that point that can be deadly with bullet at range. And they even get to hold on to a chunk of their utility here, Alex. Look at this. They've got uh, a full set right there on Nico. Olaf Meister and Cold Zero, almost the same. And Brokey even kept two flashes. Do they get the last two? They will. So extra 600 bucks as well going into the bank account. 3-0 and a bit of a bonus situation for Olaf Meister and Brokey. He might actually go for the AWP. So scratch that. It will be just a pretty one. traditional round. So just the one MAC-10. <clears throat> it's absolutely fine. Olaf Meister knows there's a few players out there with our helmets. Queenix, Farley, Hooksy, and Refresh all might be succumbed by the charm of the MAC-10. Who knows? Still haven't quite mastered that little pocket rocket. A lot of players have, though. <laughs> we were working on it yesterday. We were. Right? Henry was giving me, like, a MAC-10 uh, tutorial. He just kept shouting, run. You're not <laughs> yeah, running you, enough. You, you, yeah, you would find your feet and try and stop and shoot. You got it. Like, with the MAC-10 and MP9, you can, as long as you control the spray and yeah. kind of burst it. Like, the doing the it. pattern while moving yes. was something quite it's, foreign to me. Yeah, it's like, kind of... Rubbing your belly and patting your Yeah, it is. Thing. Yeah, that's a good, really good way to compare it, especially for my hands. Those, yeah, those ones those arms. <laughs> playing like a drum teacher. <laughs> Flashes what? for rain, and he will go completely unblind as he hears the space being taken. What's his response? A Molotov? And that's enough. Wow, perfect. They could smoke on top of that molly and retake that control, and that's certainly a possibility. You can see there is a smoke grenade and was a smoke grenade on refresh. He's opted for pop. So they now can focus on both main and pop dog with a smoke blooming. We saw this exact setup in team main from Simon Gaming work absolute wonders. That's a good point. They love getting stuck in there like the late stages of the round. Once all the initial encounters and the utilities being exchanged, they smoke deep, get two in there, and it's a very powerful spot. It does make sense. Farley 
outside looking towards Ivy. Right. Nico and Olaf Meister to deal with. Remember, it's Olaf with the Mac 10. They're going towards backtracks here. The sunny side will be flashed off. And here they go. But he's jumping up. Nico, he just gives himself a free kill. Great angle held by Farley. Looks like they're hitting inner, and it's only Nodios for now. Oh, and found cleanly, but not the same could be said for Huki. He's got another. So, three versus three. Coldzera on for a third and a clean one at that. Neat and tidy, takes down Refresh. This retake is cancelled. They really need to save this AWP. They can't lose this this early because they're going to find themselves in a cycle where more saves are required just to get the big green in their primary AWP player's hands. And well, you heard me talking good stuff about him over on a contact gaming game on train. They won 16 to three. Well, Farley, he went huge. He had a, a 2.0 something rating. That's not bad. And that was with them starting on the CT side. So he will need to come online. We know he's what he's capable of. We saw in the first map in yeah. Inferno, it was fantastic. Like I've never commentated his game. I've never even watched the Copenhagen Flames game. And I wasn't expecting that package on Inferno. It was set the tone very nicely for this best of three, but starting to think that it might have been a specialist pick for them and they're starting to drop off at this point. But. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking about some of the stuff we saw in Inferno, those aggressive mid pushes, those coordinated flashes on the mid push, like it was so well orchestrated. It's just, uh, it seems like there's a clear discrepancy between that CT setup and the one here on train. Well, it is very early days. Yep. FaZe have been riding the coattails of the success they found. They've been able to enter mounts with MAC-10s and Orbs early as well. Brokey's yet to die. All of Mice is yet to even see anyone. He's got zero, 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 and round number five. Wow. Has he been the Ivy player or? I don't know what. Nothing, no contact whatsoever for Olaf Meister. Round five, though, Farley has chosen to take his AWP inner, and it does look like there will be a chance for some combat here. Oh. So it's FaZe looking for the 5 0. It's already maximum loss bonus for Copenhagen Flames here, but they've got AWPs, M4s, Deagles, not fully invested, but. Doesn't look good. Has to be a quick shot here, but Coldzera so fast. Didn't even get a chance to react to it. Oh, that's a nasty. I, I had X-ray and it still stunned me. Farley, however, only getting the one. That's not quite sufficient enough. That's the AWP as well gone. Queenix. The only real rifle for a retake. It's not really a conversation they're willing to have. Maybe send Hooksy in to try and pick something up, but there's not many weapons lying idle. Rain's even holding the brown holes aggressive. And oh, hello. Spotted. Not a fight he needs to take and a smoke for the retreat. They are getting out of their phase five, Copenhagen nil. It is important that they denied that AWP right here, but because Farley survived in the previous, he already had that loss bonus coming through. And now with the, what do I get, 2,900? Oh, my heart hasn't updated. It's 3,400. You're right, Henry. We're bang on the 34. There we go. Yeah. I'm up to date now. So 34 in the next. He will be able to buy another AWP. We haven't actually seen them go for a double orb setup just yet. I wonder if Train will be the map where they decide to bring it out. Um, I'd like to say, I don't think they got a chance of Dust 2 at least. They, they didn't feel they, like they it. They desperately no. wanted to, but every time it was like Glass Cannon Orb or a UMP 3M4s and an Orb, there's there no chance to really do it. They didn't really find a string of rounds that suggested that was even possible. So. They'll have the single orb here. More highlights in phase, you'd imagine. Just getting the job done. Just look like they're playing deathmatch right now as they continue to apply pressure. Looking for the 6-0 star here on the T side of train. It would be pretty fantastic if they get it. And it's a single orb set up for the likes of Copenhagen Flames and all of mice. They're not wasting any time. Down the pop dog quickly. And he's sending it. Looking for the opening kill. It's going to be a wow. show to find it. Look how much space he's managed to get. He's right up on the bomb train. I don't know if Hooksy's going to be anticipating this. He's certainly lost his life. And now Refresh going down. I'm hearing bomb plant sounds already. Queenix can't quite believe it as he loses his mind. Thanks to Olaf's bullets. Now safe. Farley and Nodios are the same and all too familiar scenario for them. They might have to. Four on two. They've got no kits. They've got utility. And if they save the two weapons, they can buy up next round on the CT side with the loss bonus. One M4 is usually not enough. So uh, both weapons have to survive here. Nodios with one and five. Farley, not much better. He's currently sat on three and four. Queenix yet to frag, refresh with one. So right now, if I'm FaZe and I've already built up this much of a bank and I've been able to get the bomb down time and time again, I would probably want to start chasing because you remove these weapons from their hands and the constant 3,400 loss bonus coming on through, as you've heard from us time and time again. Yes, I know we sound like a broken record, but... 
they're able to get a limp in by, right? Deagles would be good. You could maybe get a Famous, but they're not actually able to fully invest. Now with the saved guns, you can see what that means. Nodios can drop a gun. He's already got a full set of nades if you'd like. Phalanx dropped one as well. And this is going to be an extremely potent buy on the side of Copenhagen Flame. So they get yet another crack at defending. And that was a nice little pace change from FaZe. It's kept them honest here. And now we move into round number seven. So far a clean sheet and only a total of seven kills found so far from the Copenhagen Flames. God, that doesn't even translate into more than one round total. Hooksy to defend Ivy here. Looking for their first round on the CT side. It's been an arduous battle so far for Copenhagen Flames. Smoke down. A little bit late. Do they get in front of it? Not quite. So it actually works out quite nicely here. No damage inflicted on either side, but Hooksy only with this M4. And he's been very careful. He receives grenade damage. Down to 56. A couple of AK bullets will find him now. You can see Olaf Meister encroaching his position. Doesn't find a quick kill, but Queenix certainly does. Yeah, they can go backtracks. That nade looks real nice, though. Doesn't do too much damage. Three members of FaZe on this IV position. And Cold Zera going walkabouts. Interesting. No CT control of main. They've recently just smoked it off, but they're so focused now on Ivy. They've got three players looking that way. And they're still there. Finally, the fights are given. Farley, nice work to get the trade. And oh, oh my god, grenading. Eight bullets were left. He was just perhaps a bit of a misclick. Nice jiggle from Nico using the barrel of his AK to draw fire. Uh oh. Oh, they weren't ready for refresh, and that's round winning. A double, Broki and Nico both gone, if only Cold Zera. And he's all the way on the other side of the map. He has certainly got no time. Yeah, but what a way to find their first round. Very convincing scenes here. The double orb setup has been found. Farley and Refresh showing us what they're capable of. Cold Zera, deep behind enemy lines, but only 12 seconds remain. So very unlikely he gets much more than a single kill. Let's see if he even survives this one. Trying to cause some financial damage. Offers up his spot. He's fine to go down here. And he's going to go after time. Not really sure the objective was there, to be honest with you, but he's got lots of money. It doesn't really matter. 6-1. Yeah, this maybe trying to find any sort of duel towards the end. He felt very comfortable with 10k in his back pocket. Makes sense, even though he gets zero from that round. No ramifications. Ram refresh, though. He was just in the prime spot. They took a lot of time in Ivy. What was the dream run there? Is that they find that pick earlier onto the Ivy well, they, player? They were doing great stuff there. All of Meister got to the very end. Yeah. The incendiary that shut down their attempts. That incendiary doesn't come. He actually probably gets the kill. He was low HP, but it was just a, a good reaction from the CT side. They were bound to find their first round eventually. And on the CT side of the map, it'll be 6-1 down. Hoopsie, though. He'll be using this double orb setup along with Farley. And it's a decent incendiary, actually. I think there's a player towards Olaf. So that is going to be found, and that's Nico removed. Wow, Hooksy, that was all him. Nico pulling the pin on a smoke to put out the Molotov thrown by Hooksy. He's the one to shut it down, all packaged up into a nice, neat little opening frag bundle. So now that the full buys are out, they've got all the nades, they've got all the weapons they desire. Copenhagen Flames are actually able to mount a bit of a defense here. Rain sneaking on in. It's going to be hard for him to find a frag. They're about to flash out his position to clear. Completely blind here, and actually two of the CTs pushed up close towards E-Box. This is not an easy round for FaZe to win right now. It's just the fact that they've transitioned from a passive setup into an aggressive one, opposed to the other way round. If they clear Olaf, rain goes down, that should be the round. One. Hello. Oh, dear. Okay. I'm getting butterflies. This is the sort of play you just... I've, I've, I found something that's always too promising here, boys. I'm not sure what I should do with this. <laughs> it's so delectable. Oh. He only gets one in the end. He had two backs turned. And that does look very difficult for FaZe Clan now. Cold's got some nice lineups. He actually smokes off towards Ivy from Pop Dog. Another landing towards the bomb train. If they find just one more. Ah, nice. Hooksy. And now Farley. All the frags coming in. Only Olaf. And he's not going to get much more. The second AWP, it works wonders. Three frags from it. And that's the second on the board for Copenhagen. They will be able to do that again. Absolutely true. The double AWP setup is where you want to be. Sometimes even triple AWPs on the CD side. Of the <laughs> um, it's one of the few maps that is viable. You might even see a double AWP on the T side as well, where we'll see FaZe's first tactical timeout after losing a couple. They've got plenty of money here. And uh, do you think it's to address this double AWP situation, Chad, and maybe give some more set-piece mentalities instead of the default spreads? Yeah, you want to avoid getting picked off, right? So maybe even transition to back towards that inner bomb site, knowing hey. that there's two AWPs in play. It can be hard to retake, but you have to get the bomb down. So 
that would be the first task for FaZe Clan to be able to overcome here. But you're bang on. If you know you're against double orbs, this is where a pace change could potentially be on the on the cards or something a little bit more uh, bombsite centric. But would I be out of line saying at this point when it's you've lost a couple of rounds, you've established up against double orbs, and you've called a timeout. Your opponent are also thinking oh, they're they changing yeah. what we're doing. I'd be if I've if I see my opponent's calling a timeout, they're adapting to what we're doing. I'm calling for a bit of aggression. I'm doing for one of our aggressive pushes towards Ivy or inside. Something a bit different so they can't get comfortable and try and counteract what we're presenting. Yeah, get yourself a bit of free info yeah. with a with the risk. I, I'm so I'm looking towards Towards Hooks, he's going to up ramp, so it's not a massive adjustment, but it means he can patrol that alone if no Molotov lands at his front door. Does he come in? Not quite. There it is. So he will take the shot, but not. He can throw the smoke in the corner here and repeak again, which he oh. does. What a play that is! Wow. I didn't expect that sort of caliber of shot. Wow. Hello, Nico's knees scouting the perimeter of Pop. Nobly knees. <laughs> Nobly knees, and now Oof. perhaps a perfect flash and frag. No, Rain takes the space, but they'll need him back. They want to force him into the fights. Oh my goodness. He's safe for now. Queen Ex Okay, doesn't clear it. That's a real nice play from Refresh. Excuse me, Rain. Now Refresh, dealing with Olaf Meister. We do return to the four versus three. The molly was no good, so Refresh can stay close here. This round looks good for Copenhagen Flames. Remollying now. Nodios has pushed up towards that high ramp position. They'll expect oh, this to be clear. Yeah, he always oof, has been beaten towards the upper ramp position, but this time he comes out on top. Commitment from Rain and Brokey, but a great incendiary. Hooksy picks off another. Rain will leap into his warm embrace as well in more ways than one as he roasts to a crisp there, just watching the body just disintegrate. There it is. Third round found. Three in a row for Copenhagen Flames. Money's got to be running thin now, right? Yeah, they haven't been able to get the bomb down in the same way they did oh, for that four-round stretch. So at this point, Copenhagen Flames are the ones in the driver's seat, even though the rounds don't look like they're in their favor just yet. This one here is an opportunity to get a freebie on the board. It is Deagles, a couple of smokes. Oh, and Kevlar too. So maybe not as easy to deal with as I initially anticipated. Let's see if FaZe can pop off again. Map number one, the Deagles were great. Map number two, the Deagles were great. Can they do it again? Oh, wow, Hooksy. Nails the shot, but just in the shoulder of Nika there. Takes him down to eight. Partial buy here for the T side. Already got a decent haul of rounds here. Just looking to get the bomb planted here if possible. They haven't expended too much cash. You can see a couple of players with Kevlar, but the majority just with a Deagle and nothing else. Two smokes, maybe one towards Connector and the lower ramp, but they've been held off for now. It's going to be rain. Just slashing away the windows. Does Q Queen and scope the wall bang? And at this point, just a matter of time before Copenhagen Flames should close this one out. Smoke's down though. If Hooks misses another shot, could be onto something. Not gonna happen. Nice, actively hunting that frag to finish it. You can hear the pins pulled. And now towards the pop being held by Queen X. Actually, a fantastic shot from Brokey, but. Not much more for FaZe Clan in this one. It is only Olaf, and he's met by Refresh's bullets. Copenhagen Flames, that's four in a row, and suddenly, Train getting competitive. It looked for a second that we had another Dust 2 on our hands, but as the money stabilizes, so do the Danes. Do you mind if I do a little bit of a B stream update for everybody at home? I'd love I that. would, but I will allow it. Okay, so what I want to do is if you don't want to hear the result, you want to watch Mouse Sports versus Godsent later, pause now for 10 seconds. And you paused, or you've muted. Uh, Godsent 1 2 0. Oh. So they did it. That's pretty wild. That kind of bodes very poorly for Mouse Sports. I'm pretty sure they're out. I'm not yeah. 100%, but hasn't I'm been a great sure. run, has it? That's for sure. Massive result for Godsend, though. So congratulations to them. They needed a win. And uh, we'll see Refresh given the difficult task of patrolling the Pop Dog area, this time with the AK 47, though, in hand. On the CT side is always welcomed. And they've actually steered this ship right back in on course, lads. They've got a 6 4 scoreline. That's four rounds in a row. On for five. It means a lost bonus of phase getting up there now as well. And Refresh will give the smoke back in return. And we've got this classic inner setup. All pushes up a ramp from the top of that ladder. And then we have got lovely Nordios looking towards the lower ramp here. They can pivot off each other, make it work. The really cool thing about uh, Farley's position, or was that... Uh 
Hooksy towards Hiram. It doesn't matter who it is. Either way, the Orpers, when they play that position, they're a little bit more forward. So the T's, if they round the corner to drop that normal smoke that you'll see them throwing, they're actually visible. Mm. Uh, if he was holding a little bit further back, that would not be the case. And that's what makes this setup here so unique and so potent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Faking the flash there on the drop, trying to get a CT to turn away here, but we can see Copenhagen Flames are in a very defensive setup. This might work for them. It certainly could. 25 seconds as that incendiary comes out, but the no the use of the smoke enables Rain to get his teammates out as well. That smoke completely nullifies Refresh's boost. They're taking control of this side of the train and now going for the plan, but look at Queenix. Great damage and great kills across the board. Hooksy's got another one. It's called Zera and Nico, two versus four. They're gonna have to do something miraculous to turn this one around. And now it's only on Nico. He's got no health. He's got Pop Dog to worry about as well. And that's the end of that. No Diaz gets another and so do Copenhagen Flames. They're getting a little fiery themselves here as that's gonna put five on the board. Now I don't say <sighs> we have known FaZe to find big leads and then throw them away but it has happened a lot in the last month or so. And I won't say, Henry, that spamming FaZe's bodies and teabagging them and spraying on them <laughs> definitely doesn't get under their skin and they tweet about it. <laughs> I, I haven't seen any of the tweets you're talking about. Good I don't point, know Mr. Mr. Birdchild. I see the, the point you're making and definitely some psychological warfare. Well, whatever you do, don't have a, a soft drink with you while you do it. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> AK-47s now for Copenhagen Flames as they have five rounds in a row. They've recovered from their 6-0 deficit. They can still come back in 9-6 this half. Then, if they come back and win it, that will be another conversation where, like, FaZe, amazing star, can't seem to close things out. That will be the memento of this game if it comes through. Still looking very good for them. Six rounds is nothing to be sneezed out on the T side. Even if they finish up with this, it's still looking good for them. But in the context of what we've seen so far, they will be wounded if they don't pick up another round, it's nine straight for Copenhagen Flames. Ever since they picked up the double AWP, right? Yeah, exactly. Perfect sync with the double AWP purchase. Farley and Hoogsy have been doing great work. And Hoogsy's been finding more AWP frags than Farley at this point because he's been holding that inner halls. This time he's back to his usual job. He'll be taking the AWP Ivy side. And oh, Throwkey doesn't get much of a chance to even have a look. To spawn better for Farley. He could set up, post up, and take that shot with ease. And this is a great start for Copenhagen Flames. So as they continue to barrel on forward here, they're winning in terms of opening duels. Nine to three over phase at this point. Multi-kill wise to get to 5-6. They've actually tied things up with seven multi-kills apiece on both sides. Oh, that's a nice trade from Olaf now. They've yeah. taken Hooksy out of Ivy, and that's actually going to, to put a shroud of doubt in their mind because nobody was covering that position. Farley can actually stay close. It's not the end of the world, but look at the pressure that applies to Nodios inside. He has to play retake. Well, he's got that incendiary. We've seen a few players operate with this sort of mentality. You have the incendiary out. As soon as you detect them coming through, you're going to throw it towards upper or lower, ideally lower. Um, but unfortunately, the smoke coming down, that might be a difficult task. We'll see if you can get the vision required. We'll just have to throw it now. I'll have no choice but to do it. So it's a pretty decent one, but... No damage inflicted, but it does buy time for the rotations. So that's going to be in the form of Farley coming with the Orb towards Connector. Nodius has gone upper, and Coldzera is there. Farley catching rain already, but Coldzera, nice work through the smoke. A missed shot from Farley could cost him because already Cold is on the hunt. Closing that gap, tucks in. He doesn't have to get it for any more fights now. The advantage has shifted. FaZe now bide their time as the CTs have to close this gap. But they've got smokes. I think Copenhagen Flays can get back into this. No, this kill looks desperate. Oh, Zera! Oh. Apparently not. Farley with his third. He's on for the ace at this point. All off my stat. We'll pull it back to a two versus one. With a little bit of help from Nico as well. That's the Orpa remove. Just refreshed. Now, one of the this. star players. Good flashbang, but it catches himself. It'll slow him down. And that's not ideal. But the kill certainly is. Can he find Nico here? Great movement. He might have done enough here. What? That is great play. And that's going to tie us up at six to six. Six rounds in a row for Copenhagen Flames. A fantastic clutch there. Farley with three. Refresh to close it out with a world-class clutch. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't kill Olof in that first chance, he doesn't get the round. He goes on the bomb train, jukes out Nico. This was the shot from Farley. We didn't get to see it the first time, so just on top of the trains to open it up. But this one onto Cold Zera. Oh, my goodness. So many chances for FaZe Clan. I love the second frag onto Nico. Time is so slow. He has to close the gap to the site. And he finds it. Wow. Refresh. Huge impact. 6-6. Six, six. 
Can they keep it up though? This is now the game we are looking for. Six zero down, we thought it'd be more the same with Dust2. This one is now a phase of feeling the pressure. They haven't posted around in six. We've tied things up. We're coming to the bookend now of the first half where Copenhagen Flames could actually find a victory. It will be rain now. Quickly towards outside. He's got plenty of players in front of him. The shots just aren't there. The Molotovs certainly are. And all off my step. Quick to trade. Four and four. And that's going to be the advantage phase. Queenix, he's doing so well with so little. He finally goes down. And all dink exchange. It was actually Nodius who was quicker on the trigger. But Nico has the AK-47. Now Farley. Thrust into a one versus three with very low chance to convert. He's only got an EWP and a full set of utility. It's such a beautiful, untarnished 100 HP and full set of everything. But he walks into the lion's den with only the Deagle. $5,000 on his back, now on the floor. And Nico happy to upgrade. If I'm FaZe, I'd probably run a similar strategy to that one again. You can just see how overwhelming it is and how quick they can take that bomb train position. And it also stops them getting dictated to, right? They uh, can, can actually choose. This is the pace, this is where we're going, and this is how we want to finish the round. The timeout will be coming through from Copenhagen Flames here. They do have enough money to buy, so probably just discussing what their approach for these last couple of rounds is, seeing if Zevez, the new coach of, what, a couple of days, can offer to the team. Well, so far, so good. They're displaying great mental fortitude so far. That's the first round they've given up in quite some time as we come to the round number 14. All for Farley. They don't instantly go back into the double orb setup. Not his store to purchase, so maybe it could come through, but apparently not. Trying to keep the money strong going forward, it would seem. It's really annoying me that I confused Zevez with someone else, and it's another... It was a player who played for Godsent. Uh, he's no longer playing competitive Counter-Strike. Kind of a buff Swedish dude. Schneider. Not him. There's another one. I'm forgetting. We'll come back to me for now, though. Looking to see if FaZe can find another. After six in a row from Copenhagen, they do manage to make the seventh a reality. Olaf's going back to spawn for his AK-47. It was the dude Anders is obsessed with. What's his name? Um, he oh, always brings Pauf. it up. Pauf. Pauf. Thank that's you him. so much, fellas. That's, that's Thank him. you. That's God, it. that was going to annoy me. Yeah. Okay, I'm with you there. Palf was who I confused with Zevas there. I they don't know do, why. I think maybe like their hair is the same color. Yeah, I, that's pretty much as much as it could be. And you can tell that, yeah, my God. Zevas definitely did. Um, he, he was a, he was a long standing player of Counter Strike, but kind of missed it. They say to make hay while the sun shines. And he, uh, I'm looking at his approximate total winnings. He played for a long time, but the sun wasn't quite shining back then. Now he gets to coach him. Stay involved. Ivy control for Olaf and Nico. Okay, Hoxie to defend Ivy here. Two players at that side, but it's all a bit of a ruse. They'll be certainly committing to Ivy, but they're going back tracks here. It's an inside split. First shot, it's a big one. Missed by Farley. Got three in the previous, nothing to show in round number 14. So the inside play coming through, and Nodios has to watch CD spawn. That's not going to work out for a net to save the final round here, I'd say. No point going for it. That looks so good. Just getting that backtracks control. We right. learned that in the Simon uh, game as well. Just the power of it. Kios Ke was constantly getting behind them. Oh, so we got the orb. They didn't do a very good job of uh, defending that, did they? So now Nico, he has to be on the hunt, has to see if he can take it out of their hands. And well, as we know, the next round will be the last round. The loss bonus going to play too much of a factor here. It's $1,900 on the side of things for Copenhagen Flames. With that AWP, they should be able to scrap together something respectable. Refresh, if he doesn't go down, we'll be able to drop an M4 over. Same could be said for Queenix, but maybe he wants to get some nades on up, and they'll have that AWP for Farley. So Copenhagen Flames can be threatening going into this, and, well, if you've been watching Counter-Strike at all over the last two months now, we love to split it right down the middle here. It's our favourite thing to do, especially in this... Exciting matchup. Copenhagen Flames fell flat on Dust2. It was looking to be the same on train. They were 6-0 down, but they're right back in it. Looking for the 8-7 scoreline. Final round. All for Farley. Up against a fully equipped phase. Initial smoke to flash. We've seen this plenty of times. All of Meister tries to get down towards the bomb train. There'll be none of those antics this time. The bomb has been shut down. It looks like it'll be a quick one. Five versus two. Brokey and Rain have got no chance. Respect to Copenhagen Flames. I was so worried that they were going to be, uh, well, put out, for lack of a better word, by FaZe Clan. And we do see a complete resurgence in the second half of the first half of the third map.
Of the 15th day. Oh, let's not get into that. <laughs> Hooksy, though. He's going to bide his time and does get the trade. Nice catch on to Farley, though. But unfortunately for Rain, he needed a lot more than that. Of one versus four, this half coming to its logical conclusion now. Come on, mate. Ooh, lovely. Hot flash. Down to 14. A single bullet will conclude this half. Roki. Gonna hitch that shot, but by the way, guys, during the break, I would love to hear. Of course, it. you do. I know you'd be interested. You know, he's one of the very few players who plays with the mouse in his left hand. You That's and like him. me, me, yeah. Watsik, and Zevez. That's a, it's except a small club, not even a team. He but... uses IJKL instead of arrow keys. Does that inspire you in any I'm way? I'm thinking about it. It does. I mean, Honestly, I could try it out. I feel like you should. That sounds a lot more. After 20 beneficial. years of playing with one no, setup, why though, not? mix it all up. Yeah, change yeah. all of the muscle memory. Anyway, guys, I should probably focus you back on to train because we are nearly there. It's the third map, this is the final half of this series. And Copenhagen Flames managed to muster a fantastic half in Somehow. the end. Somehow. Yeah, 6 0 down. At one yeah, point, Hank. It was looking like they were running away with their phase, were just banging them out with the AK 47s, running away of each and every round. They were bullying the inside area, but it was the double orb setup. It was the remedy to their situation on the Copenhagen Flame side, and they've looked fantastic since. Sure, they still trail, but they win the pistol. The pressure is on the third and final map. They get a lead on the T side. It's true. It's going to be difficult to maintain fo uh, uh, focus here. We'll see if Cold Zero's smoke and diffuse kit is going to be enough. Besides that, we've got Forza to Kevlar and one smoke on the Copenhagen Flame side. So inside play looks likely to me with the two PT-50s. I'd say that would make sense, but we'll see where they're going. So me, Wox, Xavis, you know. You need two more, that is, more. That is only my entire CS <laughs> career of 20 years. Um, you're the only three I've ever met. Yeah, we can be called the lefties. Well, you the can lefties. have Havoc and Top Gun because they used to play with inverted mice. That's oh, okay. Yeah. So more weirdos, yeah. Oh, that's the phone dropped oh, out no of the pocket. No well. case on. Oh, he was treating himself <laughs> to a case-free day. It's fine, it's fine, and no one's died, so I haven't screwed up my job too much, nor my phone. Fantastic. Now we're cooking. Is that a win-win, or is that just it's like... It's a win-win. It just, like, everything just bounces out. Yeah, neutral. Okay. We did a litmus test, and uh, I don't know enough about science to know what a neutral result would look like. Green, that's alkaline. Red, that's acidic. What happens in the middle? I bet Rush thought you were talking to him for a second there. <laughs> Genuinely, my ears per perked up. <laughs> not even kidding. You're not even joking. <laughs> this is a very slow round, ladies and gentlemen. Waiting out any aggression right now of FaZe Clan. We can see nothing is going to come through. The bomb is still back towards T spawn. Setting up some nades right now. So I'm expecting a smoke over towards Connector or so. The Molotov to land. And while Rain's been pushed out of Pop here, so the pressure is starting to mount. CT side are uh, chomping at the bit to get stuck in here. They want to hit some shots. They can feel the smoke's coming in now. And outside play will be committed by Copenhagen Flames. It's going to be the model top. Chuck towards the back Ooh. of the bomb site. Nico doesn't get the quick kill, but he makes up for it. Nobody else will reply quickly. And now they'll make their move towards the bomb site itself. Okay, Brokey. That's the bomb. And it's down on the blue tray. It doesn't fall off. Ooh. It doesn't matter now. Brokey's hit another one. Nodius, he needs another. He doesn't find it. Instead, it's Olaf perfectly babysitting the young Latvian. Down to refresh. 13 frags to his name. He's in need of two more in this round. 10 seconds as well. The bomb's on blue. He can't win this round. You can get this frag, and he can't even do that. My God, Brokey. With only four HP, he hits the first shot from his USP, or his USP, and that's going to be nine to seven. If you look at the opening duels in this game so far, it heavily favors Copenhagen Flames. They're up 11 to five. In opening jewels. Yeah, so they were doing a great job once they had that double op set up going between Hooksy and Farley on their CT side of things. Let's see if they've got any quirky little strategies for us here on their T side of train. We didn't actually get to see a lot on Dust 2. Henry and I were predicting the fact that these guys, this is their Super Bowl. They might be able to pull out one or two crazy pocket strats. But here, oh no, no, <laughs> no, no. Farley. No, Rush. Maybe it's part of the strat. Rush. It's to cover the pop dog ladder. Uh, triggered, triggered, triggered. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get mad. It does feel like I'm playing deathmatch, though, and I'm hitting all headshots. Yeah, right. He's tilting me, so he's doing a great job here. Thank you, Rush. Let's just do this. Let's uh, stay. Uh, stay there. Okay. God, Farley. He's I'm become gonna, my least favorite player. You've just lost a lot of stock from the Chan and Henry desk here. If there is like a strategical reason for him to be doing this, then cool. But if he's just doing it because they're on a full eco and he's trying to be a little bit cheeky, my ears, bro. My ears. Have some respect for our eardrums. We only get one set. Yeah, he's got that young 20-year-old hearing. He hasn't had those issues where he just hears ee 
feet and realizes he's just lost a decibel of sound for the rest of his life. Is that what that was? I had that's that last that night. Yeah. I've just lost a decibel. Yeah, so, so you won't be able to hear a frequency anymore. Oh. Sorry, man. Yeah. So just the old Glock's him. Trying to get the bomb down, impossible. Lots of bullets fired down way towards connector, but uh, nothing really connecting it. Guys, I've got, I've got a fun suggestion for for next, like not this, it doesn't have to be this game. It could, doesn't even have to be today. But okay. one of these days, <laughs> I would like to do on an eco, you know how we get Rush involved or we just have, we talk about something nonsense. Yeah. How about we turn off game sound and we make the gun noises? That's a fun one for not today, like when energy's high. Sure. Obviously, you know, like when you, you know, those days yeah, where you're making. Today. No, no, no. <laughs> you know that Zeus, not you know yeah, that yeah, Zeus yeah. noise. That you clearly have a talent for that. Okay, I'm just suggesting you. we try it for a round. Okay, it could be like uh, American Idol. Yeah, or a chance to practice. Yeah. You know, I'll do the AK, you do the M4. Okay, it'd All be right. fun. Well, we can practice tonight. Exactly, then, I that's guess. what I was thinking. I don't want to, you know, come in without any practice, any prep. And it's certainly been a lot of prep from Copenhagen Flames as they lower themselves down the ladder. Look at this. And jump at the same time. Perfect. Divided as they land. It's two targets, and you can't get both. They don't get either, though, this time. And they've got a nice little smoke to get them out of your box. But it is going to be uh, watched by Nico's watchful gaze for now. And they are... Pretty much hitting pause after that first frag. Another one added to their opening duel success rate. They're waiting for a reaction in from phase, and then we're going to push towards Ivy, main entrance, up a ramp. You can see them all posted here, ready and waiting, displaying a great amount of patience and discipline. They need these rounds now. They're 2 0 down, but they save their pennies for a third round investment. And they have got the lead in terms of manpower and firepower for Mass, for Cold Zera, but I suppose the Orpa Brokey could be enough to swing the round in their favor. They are going to have that position towards inside, looking towards upper for now. And we've got an outside execution being set up. Flashbang from Farley. Nico can hear the names being pulled, and here comes Nodios. <laughs> Hi. I always find that funny, because Nico, he's so well trained, he didn't even move his crosshair. He knows what's up, but Refresh has got all the way through backtracks. My god, that's a lot of space. He was so alone. Cold Zera does eventually shut him down, but now he's wondering, where's the rest of them? They're supposed to be four behind him, and they're turning tail, three of them up the pop ladder. This is quite the call they're making. Where on earth is that B defense? They're still dug in their heels in. Olaf and Cold convinced it's going to be a late hit. Oh, wow. They've played this perfectly. They'll get the bomb down. Cold can't find anyone else, and he's been thrust into an almost unwinnable one versus three. The AWP save looks like the most likely outcome here. I think it's the only outcome. Henry, can I just ask you, while we have Cold Zero's beautiful knife on sure. screen, what type of knife did you go for? What's it called, Alex? Ursus knife. Ursus knife. Big purple bastard. Looks I great. I haven't seen that one. It's I the one that when the, when the players, they flip it like that. Oh. Yeah. One oh. Oh, oh, brand chubba, new. Chubba, chubba, chubba. That's the, the most recent knife, yeah. is it? That the costs Doppler. a bloody was, arm and a was, leg. It was a pretty penny. I'm not going to lie to you. And then I got full purple gloves as well. Okay. We which, sold the other ones, the biker gloves, the, yeah, for so the cool... biker gloves. Got some pure purple gloves. Purple knife, purple Glock, purple HUD, USB, purple crosshair. Purple HUD. Purple Knights, hey, Purple MP9. Have you considered? And I've also got the 2014 Katowice London Conspiracy stickers all over. Every he actually guy. bought I, out the market. I invested. They're the only purple stickers. They're holographic ones. I bought every single one, like a hundred of them. I hate I all of them. I bottomed out the market. They're about seven dollars each. Okay. So they've all gone from the market. London Conspiracy those. stickers. Come to Henry if you want one. Yeah. Okay. So that's very. Have you considered uh, like having a, a T-sided layout and a CT-sided well, layout? Well, considering I had to take up a mortgage last. Last night we didn't <laughs> commit Probably to the not. investment. That's gonna wait for a six months. See how I feel that time. Yeah, let's okay. wait for the pro league to come in and then we can get the T side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, we do have Cold Zera on that saved AWP here, but pushing towards Ivy. If he gets a quick kill, I actually kind of believe in this round. We'll see if he can get it. Looking promising. There's the first, but unfortunately Quinix did beat him to the punch. And he'll take down his teammate Rain. And his position that popped over looks things. Four versus four. Brokey will recover an AK. So now two weapons in play on this AWP round. And you said you had some faith in Cold Zera. It's starting to see oh. why. He's got two kills. Odious every time has kept it level. Queenix was the first. Cold's going to have to be go back he, to winner. He can't risk it. He can't risk giving away this AWP here. Oh, but he's still going for it. Now he's pushed forward. Oh. Trying to do an awful lot. Brokey can't do much. And... Nice catch, Cold Zera! He's done it again! Four kills! 
everything on this one man, the Brazilian. He's going for five, but Farley will stop it in its tracks. That was going to be madness for FaZe Clan. Oh, that was looking so good. It was an eco. Bear that in mind for FaZe. Cold Zero with the saved AWP. Good for four kills. I said if he got that first towards <laughs> Ivy, he could be onto something. Pushes him towards inside. Starts nailing absolutely everyone for the follow-up. This was a beautiful sequence, and it comes down to the one versus one. Chad, if he doesn't slip off the train there, I dare say he wins it. That was actually on a plate for him. Yeah, a bit of, uh, bit of an unlucky scenario there for the final kill for Cold Zero, but great stuff nonetheless. See if they can uh, get it done as a team now, FaZe, because this is starting to get into dangerous territory. They're on the CT side. If they keep winning and then losing a round, Copenhagen Games can continue to punish that more expensive economy. <laughs> Copenhagen Games, that's twice. Oh, did I do it twice? Yeah. Oops. Copenhagen uh, no, Flames, Copenhagen it's, Games. It's really easy. It sounds almost identical. Yikes. You feel like you've nailed it. Copenhagen in the name. And game flame in, in the flame. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there's something now. I'm trying to work <laughs> make it out, see if it can be done. Um, but it, it, yeah, we'll just go with Copenhagen. What? <laughs> Flames for now? Yeah, well, when Not they start games. shooting dead bodies, we can right. say Copenhagen in the name, Flame in the game. That's, that's, oh, that's good. There yeah. it is. That's I got you covered, boys. That's perfect. All right, rain now. They'll also have to be on. Oh, it doesn't look good. He's fired off a few bullets here. The AK 47. Licking his lips, Ooh. waiting for the challenge here, and it works out for Rain perfectly. Maneuver there, but still Farley being good at finding these trades, I have to say. Nico UMP, up close and personal, as his teammates. That was backtracks. Stepping wow. up, that's broken. Yeah, they, they had taken a lot of space. It was Farley who got out of Ivy and backtracked to Old Bomb, but. Very aware, Brokey manages to shut him down before his teammate Refresh can do much. Now the smoke is back, so they'll have to be worried about that for the rest of this. Refresh is trying to linger in that smoke. That's the bomb. Oh, Nico, that duel could have won the round just there, but hello. Rain will take a clean and a freebie. Now knows bombs in main. They can work with this. It's three versus two with just 20 seconds left. That bomb needs to move, and Rain, he's already caught another one. Queenix in a real dire straight here. Chance. Ooh. He can maybe plant, but that was his chance. It's now elapsed, and Brokey caught off, perhaps. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, Lars got this one covered. <laughs> Even when we did a little spray on the floor, anything to mask the yeah. bomb on sound, I like that, respect. Uh, but it will be 11-9 here. We're still looking very close. That's two rounds in a row for Copenhagen Flames phase. Finally, we're a response here. Brain, this was a key frag. That could that was a 50-50 duel, if you ask me. There's no way he knew he had the advantage. He just had to go for it. He was painted into a corner. It works out for him, luckily. So, uh, I don't know about you, Henry. Go on. But if I had that kind of money and the game was this close, I would actually consider a force buy in this scenario. With the CTs, knowing that the rounds have been incredibly close yeah. and they've lost two before this and they're limping into this round, I, I dare say that would be a good idea. We'll see if they want to take a pause, which they do. So it's their second you so far. At the top end, they have 3,200. Lost bonus, what are they get? 1,900 next round. Yeah, you are right. It's with 1,600 on Farley. They're, they're pretty much eco or Galil armor next round, right? Yeah. So there's two viable options for them. I, I don't mind either, but uh, there there's we go. the commitment. That's so it not is bad. Through. The hero AK, that's that's a good compromise. Yeah, that's a yeah, good call. So they can give that to one player. It's dropped by Hooksy. A Galil's purchased Ooh. by... Nordius. We'll see if that's going to be where it ends. So they went all in. They did go all they in. They did. Here. They spent pretty much everything. Farley has $600, but that's about it, boys. Wow. Okay. Well, Copenhagen Flames have got some conviction behind this buy. Let's see if they can justify it. This is the difference maker of the game right here. Copenhagen Flames win this. They reset FaZe's economy back down to $1,400 loss bonus, and they set themselves up to start running away with a couple of rounds. They lose this, FaZe take full control. God, it's so frustrating watching those toes disappear back up the ladder. Queenix got some space here. Nico's pulling pins. He may not be ready for this. Not at all. My God, what a gap found by Queenix. Oh, and as he pulls out the nade, he goes down. This is looking fantastic. Brokey to try and save the day. Coldzera in support. A flash to regain control of the site. They can't let it slip away just yet. This would be a huge round for Copenhagen Flames to pick up. Chad's already outlined the financial implications attached to it. And a boost on Ebox. You don't see many of those these days. I like that. Nodios, though, can he get another kill? Coldzera, same position as he once was before. This time with the AK-47, looking very powerful indeed. Back to three on three, make it three on two. No bomb planted just yet. It's down to Brokey once again to try and catch them out. Good grenade, that could do considerable could damage. Farley. Oh, if it had a little bit more oomph. A little more mustard on the hot dog. Nice catch. 
Five bullets left in the magazine, and now all on to refresh. For some reason, I have faith in the Dane. Smoke on Olaf. This will make things infinitely more difficult. If he hears that diffuse sound as well. Okay. He sees it. Oh, wow. Great defense from Brokey. He was covered totally and completely by his teammate there. He absolutely was. That was a decent attempt there from Copenhagen Flames. The bomb goes down, but it's still a quite a similar scene here. But a decent effort on the last two. 3v5 though, fresh. right? Yeah, they got the first two kills, but Brokey was able to save the day in more ways than one. A couple of frags for him end up with three in total. And now, do we have another eco coming forward for Copenhagen Flames? I'd assume this will be the partial bite to take us to 39 potentially. Oh, deep breath. This one has been much closer. The, both these games today, no word of a lie. I thought they were going to be two O's in favor both of the series, favorites. Right? Yeah, that, that's the way it has been looking. But on the road to Rio, there has been a lot of upsets. We've had the, the movie star riders getting some stuff done. We just had Godsent take down Mouse Sports in 2 0 fashion. So these games, they're hard to predict, and nobody is safe. The world number one, I think that's probably up for debate. Oh, yeah. That's in flux. I don't know if we'll even have an answer to that before we get to a land tournament. Lovely cleanup for Olaf Meister, though. They were hoping for a bomb plant. And unfortunately, they get nothing. Refresh with a naked Glock and uh, Riflers knowing exactly where he is. This one will end with a rain frag. So 13 now to nine, and oh dear. You shot oh. their bodies, will shoot yours. It means nothing, but does it mean nothing? Is that allowed? Are we allowed to shoot the bodies now? Yeah. I can't, I can't work out what the message they're sending you. Do they, it they, more. They, they don't like it when people do it to them, but they're happy to do it back. Well, maybe they only do it as retaliation. Well, you know, an eye for an I'm, eye. I'm sure that you, you shouldn't really be doing it. If you don't like something, doing it as a response is still an, a juvenile thing to do. I did sure. pay attention, though. I did pay attention on Inferno, which, believe it or not, was where this series started about 16 hours ago. Uh, we did see a ridiculous clutch play from FaZe. They got a 2v4 after plant. I, I paid careful attention. No bodies were shot. They carefully stared at walls, hands okay. off the keyboard. <laughs> but that was map one. Now we're into map three, and it seems even Rain, the most reserved Norwegian, has got some fury in his veins. Remember we were doing the three on threes, and we said if you threw a grenade, you have to take your hands off the keyboard and stand up and just yeah. let yourself be It's killed. like when you get shot in yeah. paintball. You yeah. know, you have to... I'm <laughs> hit! Exactly, yeah. I'm hit! Yeah. The honor system. Yeah. And uh, we will be getting into a very... Important round now, FaZe Clan hunting for 14. They've got the upper hand in terms of the weaponry here, the all for Brokey. Haven't seen it for a while, but now things looking much better for FaZe Clan. 39, looking to close this one out, continue the perfect run on the road Ooh, to Rio. This was my play back this in the day, one way over the it? Ivy Smoke, yeah. you love to see it. We haven't seen that in years, that's for sure. Nico, uh -oh. he will be challenged here, but players have not spotted him. He's got a double lineup and he's going to deliver. Can he find a third? You better believe he can. Woo! As he'll okay. find damage towards a fourth, a convincing round for FaZe. One more will do it for series points here, and the money is broken for Copenhagen Flames. Surely, they'll take the partial buy here. It's on average around $3,000 per player. Can't justify the investment. The money's too strong on the CT side. You have to let them. Yeah, plant would have been great there if you were Copenhagen Flames, but with a minute 25 on the clock and four players already being blown out of the server, well, that one was never on the cards. So another timeout will be coming on through for Copenhagen Flames. This time around, the plant is not as essential. Damages, rounds are. You need to make sure you can avoid letting FaZe Clan get to 15. So I would hope to see a couple of those uh, Tech Nines we saw on Inferno. I know they were doing some lovely pounces on that map over there. Smokes, Tech Nines, armor. Here we go. The Limpin slowly starts to fade on through. These rounds, they're scary. I'm not going to lie. I Especially from Copenhagen Flames, they've always got something uh, prepared, something coordinated. You can see three smokes and a ton of flashes. Part of me thinks this is just going to be a yard push. But Inner hasn't been tested too much by Copenhagen Flames. So let's go ahead and wait and see what they've got in store for us. Yeah, three deviating Inner. The smoke's towards Outer. They want to try and sell this fake, but usually two smokes isn't enough at this, in th this level of play. You need some contact, some combat. So here we go, Nico feeling very comfortable. As I mentioned, it has to be the partial by the Copenhagen Flames. Nothing else will do. Hunting oh, for series God. point, and he's in such a prime position to find all five kills here. I'm not exaggerating. Nico could make this one really work for himself. The angle's still looking good, and he gets out of grenades. Can't find the second. Does considerable damage towards Farley, but they don't commit. So there is time for a rotation here. Currently just all off Meister with the AK-47, but now they have a rifle within the mix. 
And they've held on to a lot of their oh, needs. That's a big wall back. Damn, that was one of the smokes gone. Rain catching Hooksy. Copenhagen Flames are going to have to do a lot with the little now. They're shopping and putting the AK on their star. Record Zera, however, is caught clearing and clawing out Ivy at this moment in time. So they all stare at the floor to avoid the wall bang that caught their teammate. They're just paying tribute to uh, <laughs> their fallen comrade. Yeah, rest in peace, Hooksy, in round 24. They're screwed. The yeah. fact that Cold Zero is already here. As soon as this call comes in, it can be a quick rotation phase. I've got 15 on the board, no dramas. I think he might be onto something there, Chad. All off my step. He's got the Neon Rider in hand. Looks good, feels good. And he'll be looking to find the next three kills, if possible. Brokey denies the plant. And just a Desert Eagle. Not really much of a chance here. First kill will be his. Fair play. But he is surrounded. Three more CTs to go. Shouldn't go much further than this. Six now required as he continues to fire the floor. I'm watching the yellow card fall off, Meister, please, Graham. Oh, no. I don't like that. Don't like it one bit. Furious. 25 rounds so far of our third map. And as you can see in that top right, wow, it looks so satisfying when people actually win their map pick. Look at that. Their logo picked it oh, and yeah. their logo won it. You don't see that all the time. In fact, most of the time... I don't think we've seen it in 15 days. <laughs> I haven't say. seen that before. <laughs> I don't think we have. It's actually kind of bizarre to say that. People um, win their map picks sometimes. Sometimes they do. It's a strange feeling, but it does make sense, I suppose. Farley, oh, what oh, are you up to, oh, my friends? Oh, oh. Deepest, oh, Molly. The, he wasn't even taking damage yet. He's lost the, lost the smoke as well. A nightmare of a start here. Um, series point. Not when you want to start off what could be the last round of play. Coltera's back on it. He's, he's rocking the retro boost over the smoke. Refresh and Farley are on their way as well. If that smoke fades, I assume he's off, right? It's going to be a loud sound cue. I would cue. stay up there myself. Don't know about him. He can get boosted oh, down by his refresh. teammate as well. He's in trouble now. He's dead. Is he? Okay, what? Is he? And he gets away as well. A flash from his teammate enables a safe escape. They'll take that. An early tag with the Molotov and now a frag on to refresh. So, five on four. Good a chance of any to close things out here. But we'll see what's left in the tank. No smokes for Copenhagen Flames. They've just got flashes and Molotovs. That's it. Uh, but Nolios has pulled one back. That's all of my stuff. He was towards the lower ramp. Well, he was pushing inside. Yeah, he was playing Hold by the, the ramp smoke, and I imagine it was just yeah, that's, as it fades. With the man advantage, though, that's a really peculiar play. You think he'd be waiting for them to commit? There's 35 seconds at that point. Yeah, and they still really have to rotate someone into inner just to fill that gap. Now hitting the yard position, Farley from Ivy. 20 seconds, guys. The bomb needs to get on the site. 18. My God, they're cutting this fine. Farley oh. does hit the shot, the Sterling one. And Brokey holds his nerve. 10, Ten seconds. seconds, my God, they're gonna do it. They can still do it. They can plant, but Nico's not interested. He's taken down everyone that wasn't planting the bomb. And now hooksy has got a 1v2. They are low. They'll regroup and they'll try and find him together. Two versus one, Hooksy with the HP advantage though. More than both of them combined. Gets himself on the back of red. No utility, but allows him to look at the bomb side itself. He won't have full accuracy, that's for sure. If he can make this a one versus one, I dare say he's won it because there's no smoke to actually guys the defuse here. This first kill, it looks fantastic. One versus one, one bullet towards Nika will do it. If he even touches the bomb, you can justify a swing on him here. And it's a full defuse attempt, but Hooks has got it. No problem at all. And there it is, 15 to 10. They break the spell. That was four rounds in a row for phase. And they only have one player surviving. So that's going to be 32-50. They didn't win by the explosion. You actually get a bonus fee for that. So they've got the worst case scenario on the team side here. 32-50 per player. It means that Hootsie's going to have to drop a weapon and it will still be very difficult moving forward. They will survive the first challenge. And now, yeah, coming in with a couple of sacrifices, you've already covered that. Queenix with no nades. Maybe he wants to just be the blunt object. He is straight out of main. Will be held at bay. They've got nades as well for his destination. But Copenhagen Flames just five away from taking us to overtime. It's not impossible. This is what it's all about right here. Holding your nerve. Who will blink first? FaZe Clan now looking up for this first encounter. Nico ducks himself back in towards the smoke. He's by the E-Box right now. Players all around him, but that buys him some space. He can now focus towards main entrance and all off. Refresh, he's been deadly. His AK player across the series has been nothing short of fantastic. 
and his teammates. They've got decent control towards that side. Ebox and Olaf is theirs, but Pico, he'll be dropped. That's Queenix to find them. Here we go. Coldzera in the off angle. Refresh is ready for it and should get this frag now. We're talking five versus three. Still a chance. AWP of Brokey. He's alone towards inside. It's down to Olaf Meister and Rain here. They're in good positions as well. It's a tidy crossfire. One watching Ivy. That's towards hell. Uh -oh. And Olaf's got a double line up here. It doesn't come through, but the team kill certainly does. Three on two. And now, Olaf Meister. Joined by Rain. It looks like they might have recovered this situation oh, here. No. This is for the series victory. My God, they might have done a refresh. Here's a launch into the flames. They'll stay alive for now, but not much longer.